do this. Three elo points if we win. <laughs> All right, let's see. What do we got here? Saxony Innovative. Should be fun. Monopolize the market. It's no good. Tactical Mastery. That might be tough. But we got Albion and we've got Polania. So let's see how this goes. We're innovative. Engineering and agricultural. So if we do a t quick tier list here, we're Saxony engineer, we're Saxony innovative, and we're S tier. Polania Patri or Polania agricultural comes in at B tier. And what we say, Albion engineering, all the way down at D tier. So we should win this game. But the, the objectives, monopolize the market and achieve tactical mastery are not exactly in our favor. At least we don't go last, we go second here. So this is a start that I have come to like with Saxony Innovative. It's a little slower to get the first mech out because you can trade for metal and then produce into your first mech and then go to the encounter right away. But the cool thing about this is what we're going to do next turn. See the trade for oil out of Polani, which makes complete sense. Um, Polani often likes to double trade so they can upgrade the deploy twice and then just trade for their mechs. Turn two. We trade for oil, and then we upgrade our move action and our deploy. So the next produce gives us our mech. So we get our mech turn three instead of turn two, but that way we already have an upgraded move and an upgraded deploy, which is going to help us get our mechs later. Yeah, so I'd, I'd expect to see an upgrade here either on bolster and move into deploy. Albion up here, already with three food on the board. Choosing to produce again, gonna go for that early enlist. And it doesn't really matter where you put this first Mac at all, because what you're going to basically do is you're gonna bring a worker up here. So you can either bring the worker up here and drop the Mac here, or you could have put the I could have put the mech here and then just moved the worker by itself. Now this is I did not expect. This is a, a produce for wood. I'll be in with the engineering board going for a quick rally mech, trying to get to this encounter probably. Let's see here. I am going to drop the worker here. I would leave the mech here if um, if my build was underneath my move, like with the mechanical board, or sometimes I guess what the industrial board, because then if you get resources, you can always build a mine here. But since I have to go an action out of my way, I'll put the mech here to make use of underpass when I get it, and nothing to do with that third move. So let's see what we get for this encounter. Well, no, that doesn't do much for us. These are both very similar. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna pay the two popularity because $3 is expensive and we don't need this popularity. We're not gonna go for tier two with this combination. And that's gonna give us the, the same enlist that this would give us. So let's do this. Let's take the new worker, which we wouldn't get otherwise. And I would like to go for this coin, but because I have achieved Tactical Mastery, I'm going to take the Combat Card Enlist, and I'm going to take Combat Cards. Combat Cards with one exception are not great, are they? So what's Polanyi going to do here? 
Okay, they're going to enlist as well. Chief Tactical Mastery may, may happen for us. Eight or more combat cards in the hand and at least one combat victory star. We've already got six. And it looks like both our neighbors are going to enlist. That That is good news. Uh, Mitch, what is the requirement for Chief Tactical Mastery? I'm guessing that comment came in just after I showed it, but it's the eight or more combat cards in the hand and at least one combat victory star. Okay. Albion gets a worker. His two popping gets a worker and three oil. Effectively locking them out of tier two in all likelihood. Alright. Let's see here. Haha, <laughs> you beat me to it. Yeah. Yeah, I did. Just, uh, not by much. Just a little bit. Okay, so at this point, I can go ahead and produce and get some metal, but then I wouldn't be able to make another mech till the next produce. So I could upgrade, but I can't make the mechs any cheaper. So what I'd like to do, I think I'd like to... I'm going to trade an oil and a metal because the next produce I'm gonna take a mech put it here probably and then triple move out of my base and get two workers onto uh, onto metal okay Polania went for the trade for food a few turns ago but did not elect to go ahead and bolster into enlist yet Okay, we see an upgrade of the upgrade for Albion. Okay, next move, we're going to move out of the base, go grab this encounter, set ourselves up on the village and the mountain. We are going to run out of power where we have all of our mechs because we took that one worker and yeah, maybe should have declined that worker for that reason but it's just so tempting when you get a worker I mean we could pick up a mech or metal off of, uh, of an encounter we can always I mean, maybe we'll get food and get another enlist see what Polania do here did they finally they bolstered and another card our way so we've already got eight cards getting pretty on cards oh hello three power one card the metal right there we can only attack with one unit so they're up to five power and three cards. We can't hit them. So we're just gonna do what we were gonna do. Go to this village here. The rest of our workers. Take the mech and these workers to this mountain. And then of course use the Sometimes overlooked ability of underpass to go from occupied mountain to occupied mountain. Let's see here. Gain one worker and two resources. I don't want the worker. But I can't do this. Could do this. It's a four coin swing. What two resources would I take? Could take an oil. Ah. 
Okay. Resources would be really nice. Um, if I take two metal, then I won't need the power to produce the last mech. I'll just have the I'll just have the power for the last mech. Or I could go ahead and take the worker, expend the popularity because I don't need it. Take one oil and one metal. So that's that's what I think I'm going to do here. So weird. I'm going to do it. So now I'm going to produce and go to eight workers and three max. It's been there's an extra worker right there. You think, it's hard to see. So I'll have four metal after this next produce, and then I'll have an empty deploy without a produce whenever I get my last mech. The Polani in turn eight still hasn't grabbed this encounter. All right. And can Polania move? Yes, Polania can move. They don't want to move there, let me tell you what. Let's, uh... We've got some time to get this arm. Let's get Riverwalk. We'll put a little pressure on Polania's home base. I mean, who knows? They might let us steal some easy resources. They are going to let us steal those resources. I mean, I'm not really sure what exactly we're going to do with them, but Lonnie won't have them, which is a good thing. Lonnie takes two food and a popularity. What's their power situation? They've got plenty of power. They're going to get... We could take they already have oil on the board so they're gonna spend it so all we really gain by going up there is some wood we get into their base start wrecking their workers two food and what three resources will polania take They could take some more food. Probably some metal, right? They haven't chosen to upgrade the deploy yet, so... Metal would make sense. One metal. That means the, um, the upgrade's going to the deploy for sure. For sure. Ooh, look at this, look at this. It took some wood, so they do want to build a building here. Alright. The Polani has just moved, which means they can't move again. So. It's gonna be fun. Let's see. Lonnie's got five popularity. Make them lose some of it if they're gonna attack me eventually. Let's see what this factory card is. What would have been amazing right here is the resource for two power. 
What a combat card and two power, but I didn't get it. Um, one, two, three, four, five. I need five upgrades. That's that's not good. Can't use that. Can't use that. This is not ideal. It's not going to rush the game for me, but I'll I'll take it. Money. For 10 minutes, we got to keep things going. Lonnie can't move. Yeah. Got to start draining some people of some power here. Lonnie is not really sure what to do now. I mean, I think the it's pretty easy. You either, yeah, I think you make the mech. Probably put it here, right? No. Okay, double up on the same space to protect the resources. I mean, I guess that makes sense. Albion cannot move either. Hmm. I'm thinking that, so I could either make the mech. I don't need this wood, I just don't want Lania to have it. I thought I might get a factory card that let me use it, but no, no dice there. Okay. Uh... Do we want to run away with the wood? We're gonna move, I think. Let's, let's, here's what we're going to do. We're going to bait Albion to attack us on this mountain and take out Polania's workers. Because what that's going to do is that's going to wreck Polania's economy. And if Albion decides that they want to try to attack us on this space with one unit, we come back next turn and we deploy Disarm. And if they've spent any power at all, we take it out. I mean, we had no popularity to begin with. It didn't hurt. It didn't hurt to knock it out, the equation. We're not going for monopolize the market. That's off the table. We were, we're already spreading out. Okay, there, there comes a combat card our way. Polani, because they only chose to do one upgrade on the deploy, is not in a position to, to do much. Come on, Albion. Come attack us. Yes! What we wanted. got a bunch of threes let's throw these we want to save our five but don't want to let them get a cheap one yeah that's kind of cheap we can take away the rest of their power though 
we attack them. Plus, what are they going to do with two wood? It costs them three to build a building. They're probably winning right now, though. No, we're winning. Okay. This is not going to be the fastest Saxony innovative ever. So far, I think we feel pretty good about where we're at. Coin-wise, we're actually winning. Let's put this arm right here with all these workers. Sets us up perfectly next time to spread out. Bring them a power and get a cheap combat. With the third move, we can even pick up an encounter. And turn in a cheap tactical mastery. Ooh, that's only if we use one combat card. Maybe, uh. Hmm. Bet we don't have a power, we could give ourselves an extra card here. Hmm. <laughs> I mean, then another three, just in case Milani gets greedy and throws a two. Probably not gonna happen. Eight power and a five card, I think they're gonna ensure a win here. Yep. And we get a three right back, so whatever. Lonnie is, has no economy right now. Got the most coin, the most territory. We're barely ahead of Albion who... Did I see? Because of the additional... Ooh, they trade for popularity. Oh, because they need it to produce. Well, I'm gonna ruin, ruin their day then. Because... Let's leave one guy here in case we want to use a move to spread to these two territories later. Um, the tunnel matter. Oh, I can get a Chief Tactical Mastery. I just have to play my five. And see, he can't counterattack. He doesn't have the, didn't have the shield mac. Can't produce now because I took his power. Let's see what we get here. We have all our mechs, right? Yeah. Don't need a $4 mech. So let's take two food and popularity because there's nothing else to take. What's Polani gonna do? Not move. Yeah. Got a nice little cushion now, up 18, and we don't even have the factory, and no one else can even reach it. So, anytime we want to spread out and hit the factory, we can do it. Now we can just dump our combat cards on people if we want. 
Lonnie can still play 11 with a single unit though. Oh, they didn't. It didn't. Well, yeah, I mean, disarm doesn't do anything, but... I mean... Yeah. Going for broke there. See if we get a good combat card. Yeah, we get a four. Nice. Is it just attack every turn time? Oh, they give us another card. Albion's already got their two combats. Force them to spend. As long as they're on that tunnel. Yeah, they get away with spending the minimum. That's okay. That's okay. Lonnie, if they can produce, and they can, can finally build some sort of a building on one of these spots. They're at three wood. They don't know what Albion thinks they're going to do with that wood. And Albion still can't produce, so they're having trouble. They can't get to any, they can't make any mechs. It means they can't produce. They can't. The biggest, con the biggest downside of repeatedly attacking Albion is they have shield. And if you attack them you, with disarm, disarm triggers and then shield, so they're going to have to two power every fight, despite disarm. What'd they do? Oh, now they have two metal. So let's, uh... Eight. What can they do? Take a star. Let's take three units. That makes the counterattack a little harder. And I want this one. I'm going to pay what it costs. Hey Scott, how's it going? He spends two cards. Bad cards, but still he spends two of them. That means he only has two cards now. Thankfully we're ahead because we're at five stars, which means no one can suicide onto us. You know, force us to take a star and end the game. Them in the lead. Scott, why streaming on YouTube rather than Twitch? Um... YouTube's more accessible to people. YouTube has transcoding, which means that... No one's threatening tier two just yet. Which means I can stream in high definition and people can watch in lower def... Yes! Is Albion giving up?
I mean, if they have two fives, I just come back with one card and win. So, is this game or my next turn is a game? No, they just went out. They just want to end it. We're just done. All right, guys. Saxony Innovative, 15 turns. Not the fastest Saxony Innovative you will ever see, but a pretty dominant performance against two somewhat undermatched combinations. Alania could have done a lot of damage had they rushed, rushed their mechs out with the amount of power they had. And, uh, you know, Albion kept it interesting for a while there, but it was just a little too difficult, a little too high of a mountain to 